So uh, when you, you open up the uh, little application on the desktop, it actually opens up in Google Chrome. And the advantage that offers is, you know, um, Google Chrome, Google Maps, that's something that we're all used to using on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So instead of having to learn some kind of native software that has its own interface, um, you know, something that's very unique to uh, its own intended purpose, now we're using software that uh, you, know, you can use on your phone, your tablet, you're used to using. You wanna to go to a restaurant, you open up Google Maps. So the way that you interact with the software is kind of something in common usage for everybody. <clears throat> the second part of that is it can be viewed on multiple displays. So because it's being run through a web API, uh, you know you can have it on the <coughs> tablet or on a tablet, on a cell phone. So the person actually operating the system um, can view and control the system from a tablet. So everything, all the buttons, all the interactive features are on a tablet or a, a smartphone. But it can also be broadcast over something like a Wi-Fi network uh, to other parts of the vessel and even uh, places on land, office, you know, around the world. <clears throat> and it's done, like I said, it's done so through, the, uh, through something like a Wi-Fi network. Uh, the advantages uh, this offers, uh, as an example, so let's just say your operator is out there, you know, focusing on the hydrographic survey. Well, let's say you've got a, a, a captain that's in a remote part of the vessel. The captain can actually just pull up a tablet no running cables or anything like that, just pull up a tablet and uh, monitor the progress of the survey as it's being executed. And then in the case of a USB, you can monitor multiple USBs at the same time, and you can also look at uh, the data through kind of a different lens, different analytical tools such as uh, standard deviation and you know, something plain like a, a, a depth surface. <clears throat> so just a, you know, another video to show um, the power of this uh, software and uh, uh, the versatility of it all. So this is a video that shows what an office PC is monitoring versus what the field tablet would be monitoring. So on the left-hand side, <coughs> outlined in yellow, you, you know, this may be what the, uh, the field surveyor would be seeing. And then, you know, back in an office somewhere, you have uh, what's outlined in red here, that's what the office would be seeing. And so whoever is monitoring this, uh, you know, providing oversight for this survey can interact with this map without affecting what the field surveyor is seeing while they're trying to conduct the operations. Why is that important? Well, as we mentioned, we're trying to do resource management. You don't always have your most skilled hydrographer that can't be on every project, right? But with this tool and with this, and the simplicity of the setup, uh, you can have somebody who knows how to operate the equipment. So somebody with a fundamental understanding of how to conduct a survey, but maybe can't, you know, isn't, doesn't have the experience to lay out <coughs> a full survey design and ensure that everything, all the data that needs to be captured is captured. So with the, the limited resources, you know, trying to find somebody with that, that level of experience, I think the question I'm asked most often these days is, you know, Paul, uh, do you know anybody that can help us on our project? Because there's such a shortage of, of highly qualified people. With a setup like this, though, you can have one person who's very, very skilled, very qualified, overseeing maybe four different projects at the same time. All they have to do is log in, uh, you know, uh, through the, the API, uh, the app on Google Chrome, <coughs> using the different uh, IP addresses. They can go from project to project, uh, check progress. They can look at things like standard deviation right here. So if there is a bust, right, you know, some, some kind of deviation, this, uh, the sonar all of a sudden starts behaving erratically, that'll show up. <laughs> Next thing, you can link uh, directly into a GIS uh, uh, program, such as ArcGIS, or this is a free program, QGIS. You can automatically generate reports. <clears throat> the level of automation that this has, you can actually set it up to where it'll automatically generate a report, you know, let's say on the hour, and send it out to a specified mailing list. So you set an area that you want to monitor, like a geographic area, and you, you know, uh, do a little bit of automation through uh, you know, connecting uh, through GIS platform to this platform. And it'll basically take screenshots and send out an email at a time interval to the people that you want to communicate with. So what this really becomes, it's not just you know, an acquisition software, it's not just an analytical tool, but it has all that stuff. What it really, I think, my opinion, like its greatest strength is um, its ability to be a, a tool for communication. So you can deliver the expertise, which is very limited in the industry, to all these different people who are maybe just starting out, just starting to build that expertise. They're like really the operators, the field operators, the equipment. And so the person that oversees all these different projects can be in one location overseeing multiple 
and communicating not only with the people executing the work, but also communicating with uh, you know other uh, stakeholders that are involved in the project, whether it be uh, you know a dredger, dredge captain, a project manager, uh, maybe even ecological manager um, or um, environmental permitting manager. Who knows? And they can do it quickly, uh, getting uh, very accurate snapshots of the water bottom and sending it out in formalized reports or just having informal discussions on the side. And so I believe that is it.